Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all about the Puff Collection from Dagny Dover. This is a brand new collection I'm so excited to share with you guys. And if you stumbled upon this live video, hello, I'm Nicole. And on this channel we talk about everything from bag reviews, product reviews, and more. And if you're watching the replay, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, stay a while, and we will talk all about this brand new collection from Dagny Dover. Okay. I selected two pieces from the collection and the two pieces that I selected were the kitty crossbody, which is this little bag right here. I got it in black. It does come in four colors. One of them is a really fun zebra print. And one thing that the one theme across this whole collection um, that's notable is that all of the bags are made from recycled water bottles. They, so if you are, totally into being eco-friendly. I think that's such a cool thing that they're doing. Um, and that is the case with this bag and the other one that I'm going to show you today. So this is the kitty crossbody. It comes with two straps. This is a seven inch short strap, which looks like this. Um, how cute it has a little scrunched handle there. So you can fit it right under your arm. I'll step back in a second and show you what both of these look like um, when I'm wearing them as well. So you can wear it over your shoulder just like that or it comes with an adjustable crossbody bag, or a uh, strap rather, which looks like this. And it's adjustable from 13 inches to 22 inches. So it's a really, really nice adjustable strap. You would adjust it right here. You can see there's like little snaps. So you would just undo this, thread it through to make it smaller. So the snaps are exposed, which I think is an interesting touch. And the strap is also puffy very puffy. Um, I did want to mention if you're watching live, if you have questions, drop them in the chat box. Let me know. I'm happy to answer them as I go. Um, but okay. One other really cool feature of this bag is it has magnetic closures in it. I love a good magnetic closure. I hate Velcro. <laughs> I just always have. Ever since I had small kids and I carried muslin swaddle blankets, the Velcro would snag the muslin and it would drive me insane. So anyway, ever since then, we stick to magnets and that's what you'll see on this bag. There are two magnets right here in the front that hold this flap in place. And you'll see I have it packed pretty full. Um, and that magnet is still holding very nice and strong. There you go. There you also have a magnet or a magnetic pocket here in the back. Right here, it's a little slip pocket. I'm going to show you how I have this bag all packed up and then I'm going to move everything over to the other bag in the puff collection that I purchased. So I'll show you that too, but magnetic pockets right here. And then you'll see from the profile on the bag. Um, let me tell you the dimensions. It's eight and a half inches long, four inches wide and seven inches high. So that gives you an idea. And you can see here, there are three different compartments. I mentioned on my Instagram stories, I thought it looked very similar to, I was getting Pouchette Matisse vibes, if you're familiar with the Louis Vuitton bag that has the three sections. Um, anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, also, here is the Dagny Dover name right on the front. It has a rubberized nameplate, which is really nice. And it looks good with the look of the bag. I think it's so cute, guys. I think it's so cute. Okay, so that is bag number one. We'll come back to, to this one and show you how I have it packed up. Let me show you bag number two. This is the Rider shoulder bag. And you will see that it has that same beautiful scrunch. The handle is super cute. It has a 12 inch strap drop on the bag. And I wrote down the measurements of this one. This one is 15 inches long, four and a half inches wide and seven inches high right here. 12 inch drop. I think it's the perfect little um, drop to just toss right under your arm and go. I mean, how cute, right? Right? Um, the inside of this bag, um, or actually rather, this bag comes in four colors as well. And the inside of this bag features a little key leash and a pouch attached to it. Um, I've owned and shared so many Daggy Dover bags over the years on this page. Um, I have never seen a little nylon pouch like this, and it's so cute. So cute. It is removable. So if you want to take it off and maybe put your keys on there, you can. Or if you want to take the entire key leash off, you can do that too. But this is what the little pouch looks like that comes with it. Okay, so cute, so cute. All right, let's look at the inside here. On the inside, you're going to have two slip pockets. 
one right here that has three elastic loops and another one right next door to it that's just a plain slip pocket. Then on the inside of the other side of the bag, there is a nice long zippered pocket right here. Kind of, it's kind of hard to finagle, huh? Um, there we go. There's the zippered pocket. And then there's a look at the interior. Very cute, very lightweight. Again, made from recycled water bottles, which is so cool. And then you have their branding. It's just like a little tag right here on the side. So cute. Weighs hardly anything at all, truly. It is very, very lightweight. So I think it's going to be perfect for some outdoor summer adventures. That's just that's just my thought. Um, okay, let me show you how I have the kitty crossbody packed up. Um, in the back pocket here, I have a package, a flat, little flat package of Kleenex in that little back pocket. It'd also be a good place for your phone. Let's see. I have a 12 Pro Max with a little loopy case on it. Ta-da! Fits good. Fits good. Okay. Let me show you the inside, which is what I'm so jazzed about. This bag is so cute. Okay, again, magnetic opening, closures rather. You have three compartments. You have one here in front, one in the middle, and one zippered in the back. In this front pocket, um, it has some pin loops. I have my pin in one of the pin loops. I also have two lip glosses sitting in the slip pocket. My Touchland hand sanitizer and my AirPods. Let me see if I can bring the bag in close so you can see. There are the little pen loops, you see? You got three of them, one, two, three. And then there's a little slip pocket right there. So that's the first compartment. In the second compartment, I have a regular size package of wet ones. So that's a brand new pack of those too, so that's good. I have my bug bite thing because it's mosquito season here, so I have that. I also have my small keep going first aid kit. This is loaded with everything you need to administer first aid to your kiddo. Um, and then I have my Andar Denner wallet, which is a little leather card case. That is in the second pocket. And the second pocket is just an empty pocket, um, but it's a really nice space. Then you have this zippered compartment right in the back. And back here, I have my little leather, um, nylon pouch from Mina Bay. This is part of their pouch trio that they sell. And then I have two, my two favorite lip balms. This is actually the one I'm wearing today is the colored one. These are from Tarte. They're so good. They're my favorite. Anyway, okay. So that's what was in the zippered section. And in the back of the zippered section, you have another slip pocket. This bag is so, so cute. So let me see if I can scoot back a little bit and show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. I'll kind of angle this back a little bit. Here is what it looks like on my shoulder. So cute, right? Let's see if I can back you guys up just a little. Okay. Okay. And then if we wear crossbody again, this extends out um to 22 inches 13 to 22 inches so there it is as a crossbody bag how adorable right i love it um let me also show you the rider while i have the camera backed up here is the rider on my shoulder super super cute okay now let's take everything that i had in that kitty crossbody and let's put it in the rider and just see how the two styles compare. They are quite different, I would say, um, but I think it would be a good comparison. Okay, let's bring you back. Doo -doo. Okay. Um, great question. Great question in the chat asking, do the bags poof out like the MZ Wallace one? You know what? They don't. And I had this exact conversation with my husband because if you may recall, I bought a similar MZ Wallace bag that had the sections, but it wasn't puffy, like made of this like puffy material. 
this has such a, a big puff to it already that when it was packed up, it did not bother me. And the magnetic flap closed, which was really nice. Like it, I don't know, something about the shape. I think it might be the flap that made me feel differently about this bag than the MZ Wallace one. Okay, let me go ahead and fit everything in here right quick. Put my lip glosses in there. I have a sneaking suspicion that this bag is gonna hold just a bit more than, probably a little bit more than the other, the Kitty crossbody bag. Which like I said, that one is my favorite of the two. I love it, I love it. If you're just gonna get one, get that little crossbody bag. And I think the price point on it is really approachable too. I, and that's one thing too, um, I also wanted to mention about the MC Wallace bag. That bag was over $300. This one I think is around $115 if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm leaning towards that one being my fave. Okay. Here's just a quick, oh, my lip balm. Do, do, do. And my wallet. My wallet matches the bag so nicely. Okay. Let's take a look at how this packed up. This is everything from the Kitty Crossbody packed into the Rider shoulder bag. That's how it all fit. Every single item exactly the same. Um, I put my, you can't really see, let me kind of move the bag a little bit. I put my lip balms, I stacked them on top of each other and put them right next to the Touchland hand sanitizer in the slip pocket. Um, there is a little pin loop. That's where I put my pin. In the next slip pocket, I put my lip glosses. And then in the middle, I have the first aid kit. And then I have the wet ones and the little tiny pouch that has, I didn't show you guys what was in there. Um, my wallet. And there's still space. I have Kleenex. I could feel, I, I feel like I could fit quite a bit more in there. And then in the back zippered pocket, I just put my AirPods. So. I think it's great. I think that both bags are so cute. I think the puff collection in general being made from recycled materials, I think is really nice. The hardware is a really great quality that we can expect from Dagny Dover. Um, and I love them. Again, if I had to pick one, I would go with this one. It's so cute, so cute. And I do believe the price point on it is $115. $115, which I think is a steal for something that is lightweight, super cute for summer, comes in four fun colors. So go check it out. I will have both of them linked in the description box down below. If you have any questions about either one of these bags, toss them in the chat before I hop off and I'll answer them for you. Um, but yeah, there you go. Also, if you missed me trying them on, um, this will be available on replay. So you can kind of rewind back and see what they both look like on the body too. I want to make sure I did that for you guys. So there you go. There is the kitty crossbody. And here is the rider shoulder bag. Super, super cute. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds for any last minute questions. If not, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out on my channel and supporting me and watching this video. If you have any questions after this, feel free to reach out to me via comment or um, DM over on Instagram and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.